And welcome back. I'm David Highfield co-hosting with Heather Abraham here on PTL this morning. And our next guests are here to bring a little bit of sunshine on a chilly winter day. That's right. Daffodils are always a ray of hope. One of the first signs that spring is on the way. And we're excited to announce today the return of the Daffodil Campaign by the American Cancer Society. Here to tell us about the return of this popular program and how it helps in the fight against cancer are Chelsea Edwards of the American Cancer Society and a longtime volunteer, Tony Krupp. Good morning and thanks for being here. Hi guys, good morning. good morning. So where did the Daffodil Program go for people who are wondering what happened to it? Sure, so a couple of years ago we went through a bit of a transformation and one of the things that our national headquarters decided is that um, Daffodils was one of the campaigns that we just weren't seeing enough of a return for the donor dollar. Uh, one of the things that we're always doing at the American Cancer Society is making sure that we are being good stewards of every donor dollar that we get. Mm -hmm. So. Um, we did make that decision um, a couple years back to step away from the daffodil program, but thanks to some really passionate volunteers like Tony um, <laughs> and uh, some staff here in the area, we kind of kept it around in a small way and eventually were able to bring it back um, in a even smarter and better way so that we're getting more back from every dollar that we see from our donors and we're able to bring daffodils back to the community that I know loves it so much. Yeah, It's, so, it's such a bright symbolic it kind is, of way yes. for a fundraiser. And tell us about the history of daffodils daffodil days in Pittsburgh. Sure. Tony? Well, you do yeah. Pittsburgh. Okay. I, <laughs> I do Butler County. Sure. Yes. Right. Um, so Daffodils has been a really strong um, campaign and fundraiser here in the area for over 20 years. Um, as Tony can attest to, she's been around for uh, most of that time. Yes. And uh, we've raised, you know, near a million dollars in Western Pennsylvania wow. per year uh, for many years. We're getting back to there and regrowing and bringing the campaign back. Last year we did uh, right around $300,000 just in this area. Um, wow. And we're looking to double that this year. So uh, we're really excited to see those orders start coming in in the next week and, and see what our total ends up being this year. As a volunteer, Tony, what do you do? How do you participate in this program? Well, I help coordinate the sales in Butler County. Uh, bring together the volunteers, uh, of course work with getting orders. Um, we do an assisted living program and we deliver to cancer centers, so I coordinate all that. And we also do direct sales sites, which gives people who don't get their orders in by February 5th an opportunity to stop at maybe the hospital, one of our medical centers, the mall, and get their daffodils then. And there you see people getting them right, right out on the street. Yeah. But how can you order them? So you can order them online? Well, you actually call our local one of our local offices, okay. um, our Pittsburgh office. It's 412-919-1100. And the folks at that office will get, us, get you connected with your local staff partner to get an order placed. So there's several different ways to order, but we really try to customize daffodils to the community that they're in. Right. So it's a little bit different um, depending on where you live. Right. And as I understand it, so this is not in every city prior, like how it was before, this is only in select cities now? Right, so when um, daffodils came back, it was really just came back to the areas that had really emb embraced it in years past. Pittsburgh being um, one of the largest daffodil campaigns across the country, right. even before it went away and, and now coming back, it's one of the strongest campaigns that we have at the Cancer Society. That's good stuff. Yeah, Are you gonna get me some? Absolutely, <laughs> I'll get you flowers any day, yeah. So, tell us about the deadline, like when, when do people mm -hmm. need to order right. by and you know, what, what, all that. Yeah, so orders need to be in by February 5th. Uh, and like I said before, you can order by giving your local office a call, 412-919-1100. That Pittsburgh office will get you connected with the right person. Um, and yeah, you got about a week left to get those orders in. And then the daffodils themselves will be delivered the week of March 18th. Right. So you can be on the lookout for those once you order. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for being here yeah, with us right. this morning talking about this. And I love that Pittsburgh has embraced this and, right. and they want to bring it back. Yeah. And so cool that we're one of the select this, cities. Yes. And again, as you just heard, order your, daff order your daffodils by February 5th for pickup and delivery the week of March 18th. Remember, all orders for daffodils and a gift of hope benefits the American Cancer Society. You can get more details at kdka.com slash PTL.